It's time to play Hard Hat Trivia. See if you know the answers to these hard-hitting construction questions. If you do, shout it out. What is the most popular building material throughout history? A. Concrete B. Bricks C. Stones D. Wood It's concrete! Did you know that with all the concrete it took to build the Hoover Dam, you could pave a road from Seattle to Miami? Okay, next question. How many bricks were used to build the Empire State Building? A. 25,000 B. 1 million C. 97,000 D. 10 million The Empire State Building is made up of 10 million bricks! Ready for one last question? How many years did it take to build the world's longest underwater tunnel? A. 10 B. 2 C. 6 D. 4 It took six years to build the tunnel that connects England and France. Yet it only takes 35 minutes to drive through it. What's up, friends? My name is Nicole. Get on your feet because it's time to worship God. Great singing! You can all take a seat. When we feel all our emotions start building up, we need to deal with how we feel. And all we have to do is stop, look, and listen. First, stop to name how you feel. Take a deep breath, slowly count to three, or just close your eyes and think about how you're feeling. Next, look at what's really going on around you. Think about what is happening and what's making you feel this way. Then, listen to what God's Word says. When you take time to read and think about God's Word, He will always help you deal with how you feel. Here's what you need to know today. I need to deal with how I feel. From road construction on the way to school to that new playground they're building across town, things are under construction all around us. And it's exciting to watch it all because you never know what's going to happen. Especially on the hit construction show, Build It. Check this out. Oh man, I'm so psyched right now. Today is reveal day. Skip has been working on a new playground that um, should be finished today. But it sounds like there's a little something something happening. I mean, I can't even. I need to get my eyes on this. Susanna, hi. 
Are you ready for the big reveal? Reveal, reveal. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I can't wait. Ta-da! Skip, I... You're speechless. I knew you would be at this masterpiece. Uh, that's not exactly the word I had in mind. Oh, I get it. You were probably thinking more along the lines of creative genius or modern day work of art. Oh, it's a work of something, that's for sure. I can't believe this. I knew you'd like it, but I didn't expect you to be so, so complimentary. So, um, let me run something by you super quick. Mm -hmm. You used these blueprints to help you? Oh, they help. build something. And these materials, are these even new two by four beams? I'm sure they're two by some things. Let's just say I use some creative liberty. do it on your own. Oh, come on. This baby will stand the test of time. Okay, so maybe it is time for those blueprints. Let's play this or that. Emoji edition. Round one. Stop and see if you can name how Skip and Susanna feel. If you think the answer is on this side of the screen, wave your hands this way. But if the answer is on that side of the screen, wave your hands that way. How did Skip feel about building something new? Excited or worried? Wave your hands to the correct answer. That's right, Skip was excited. When Susanna saw that Skip didn't follow the blueprints, did she feel worried and angry or peaceful and happy? Wave your hands now. Right again, Susanna felt worried and angry. If you think Skip felt confused when his masterpiece playground came crashing down, wave your hands this way. But if you think he felt embarrassed, wave your hands that way. You got it, Skip was embarrassed. Way to go. That's how you stop and name your feelings. Round two, let's look around at what was really going on. If you think the answer is on this side of the screen, pat your legs. But if the answer is on that side of the screen, stomp your feet. What did Skip do that frustrated Susanna? Eat a sandwich or ignore the blueprints? Pat your legs or stomp your feet? Susanna became frustrated and angry because she trusted Skip to follow the blueprints, but he didn't. True or false, Susanna's words hurt Skip. If you think it's true, pat your legs. But if you think it's false, stomp your feet. It's true. Instead of dealing with her frustration, Susanna used words that hurt Skip. Was it wrong for Skip and Susanna to have different feelings? 
Yes or no? Pat your legs or stomp your feet? No! God gives us all of our feelings. And when we deal with how we feel the way that God says to, our feelings can help us show love to God and others. That's why we should always stop, look, and listen. The best thing to listen to is God's blueprint for life, the Bible. Check this out. Hey, everybody, listen up. Here's what God has to say. Aw, uh, yeah. What you got for us today? Well, today we're talking about feelings. Feelings, hmm? Like when I feel cold or tired? Well, actually, when I say feelings, I mean more like emotions. You know, happy, sad, angry. Wait, how about when you're feeling slappy? Uh, what? That's like happy, but sleepy. It's like you're laughing, and then it turns into a snore. <laughs> Shoo. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not a thing. But no matter what we're feeling, we need to learn to identify our emotions and respond to them in the way God wants us to. Ooh, good call. He's totally got our back. Yeah, he does. It's like the story in the Bible about how Jesus was tempted. Uh, I know that one. It's about when there was a, like a big thing and that other thing happened. Um, yeah, maybe I should just tell you the story. A little refresher course might be nice. I'll take notes. Good idea. Well, you see, Jesus is fully God, but when he lived here on earth, he was also fully man. He felt emotions just like we feel emotions, and he knew how to deal with what he felt. Hold up, hold up. Just wait one second. You're telling me Jesus felt emotions like us? Like when I felt mad at my brother because he goes in and messes up my stuff in Minecraft? Well, Jesus never played Minecraft, but he sure did feel emotions. And when he did, he used God's word to help. See, one time Jesus spent 40 days in the desert, and while he was there, he didn't eat a single thing. 40 days? Oh, he must have been starving. Yeah, he was. The Bible says Jesus was feeling very hungry. Being hungry makes me so angry, and I call that hangry. And the only cure for hangry is pizza, topped with a burger, sandwiched between two slices of cake, also known as the secret surprise. It's a family recipe. I bet that would have hit the spot. But not only was Jesus hungry after being in the desert that long, he probably felt hot, tired, lonely. Oh no, sounds like Jesus needed more than my signature secret surprise. After those 40 days, the devil knew Jesus was hungry. So he said, if you are the son of God, tell these rocks to become bread. Whoa, he could have made those rocks into anything, huh? I know what I would do. I'd make those rocks into the biggest cheesy puffs the world has ever seen. But instead, Jesus dealt with how he felt by telling the devil, it's not just bread that keeps people alive. Their lives depend on what God says. That's right, Jesus, you tell them. Two more times, the devil tried to use how Jesus was feeling to make him do something. Oh man, what an emotional roller coaster. All the twists and turns. The story is taking me everywhere. But each time, Jesus remembered what God said, and that helped him do the right thing. Sounds like Jesus knew that God's word can help us deal with how we feel. That's why he spent his life teaching people what God says. You're right. One time, he told this story in Matthew 7. Another story? This is like the best day ever. He said, whoever hears these teachings of mine and obeys them is like a wise man who built his house on rock. It rained hard, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat against that house. But it did not fall because it was built on rock. Awesome. Sounds like that house wasn't going anywhere. Then he said, whoever hears these teachings of mine and does not obey them is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. It rained hard, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a loud crash. No surprise there. Everyone knows you can't live in a sandcastle, duh. No, 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 uh, the house itself wasn't built out of sand. It was built on sand, which was not a firm foundation. Ah, oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, Jesus told this story to show us how important it is to have a firm foundation in our lives. And God's word is that rock-solid foundation we can build our lives on. That's awesome. So that kind of foundation will help us know what to do with how we feel. Yeah. When things happen that cause us to feel upset, like getting mad about something your friend said to you. Or when your brother messes up your stuff in Minecraft. Or that. We will know how to deal with things the right way. Because God's word helps us deal with how we feel. I need to deal with how I feel. 
Everybody get on your feet. It's time to play Match the Moves. Watch the corners light up and be ready to repeat the pattern you see. Each round will add to the pattern and speed it up. Let's practice our moves. Jump, duck, twist, and shout. Now you're ready. Round one. Watch the pattern closely. Twist, shout, duck. Your turn. Great job. It's time for round two. Watch carefully. Twist, shout, duck, twist, jump. Let's see your moves. Great job. Last round. It's getting faster now. Twist, shout, duck, twist, jump, duck, shout. Match the moves. You did it! You can all take a seat. Let's play Piece It Together. In order to piece together this puzzle, answer a few questions. In today's Bible story, did the wise man build his house on rock or sand? The wise man built his house on rock, so when the rain came and the wind blew, his house did not fall. Great job! Now it's time for our next question. True or false? Jesus said if we listen to him and do what he says, we will be like the wise man who built his house on the rock. True! When we follow Jesus and listen to him, our lives will be built on a solid rock foundation. We're getting closer to piecing this picture together. Let's answer one last question. When our emotions are building up, we can stop to name how we're feeling, look at what's happening around us, and listen to what? God's Word! We can listen to God by reading the Bible every day. Now that we have three pieces of our picture in place, see if you can piece it together. Shout it out when you know what it is. It's a bulldozer. Let's memorize this verse together. But even if we don't feel at ease, God is greater than our feelings, and He knows everything. 1 John 3.20 See if you can remember the words that have been paved over. But even if we don't, but even if we don't feel at ease, God is greater than our God is greater than our feelings, and He knows. God is greater than our feelings, and He knows everything. 1 John 3.20 Nice work! One way to deal with all of your feelings is to worship God. So get on your feet! It's time to sing! Everything, 
God is greater, greater than my feelings. He knows everything. He knows everything. You are greater than all I feel. You know it all and you always will. I trust in you with all that I've got. Doesn't even matter if I feel it or not. You are greater than all I feel. You know it all and you always will. I trust in you with all that I've got. Doesn't even matter if I feel it or not. God is greater than my feelings. He knows everything. God is greater Great singing. You can all take a seat. Now, let's talk to God. Everyone bow your head, close your eyes, and pray with me. Hey God, thank you for giving us all of our feelings. Please help us to stop, look, and listen to you every day to deal with how we feel. We love you. Amen. Amen.